Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith with Piece of Cake and I want to show you how to make a cute little no-sew pin cushion using wool and the wool I'm using is the um, Woolly Charms from In the Patch and tins, cute little tins that you might have picked up just about anywhere. Now I've already made one inside this tin and what you can see is that it's coiled strips of wool and there's an easy way to do this. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to make a, a pin cushion out of this Altoids tin. Now I don't really like Altoids so I have already thrown away the um, actual mints that came in the tin and I measured the depth, the, the height of the tin, and it's just over half an inch. So I cut strips off of the five inch woolly charms that are just over a half an inch tall. And I cut a variety of colors that I think look pretty with the Altoids tin cover. And I like to start with three colors. You could start with one or two or I don't know more than three might be a little hard to hold, but you could try it. And you just start coiling the strips together. Now as you coil them, try to keep it tight and try to keep the strips level. And what you'll find as you work through here is that every now and then you might want to let go of it. Like right here I'm getting to the end of this um, reddish strip and I need to put in a new strip. You don't want to just let go and let it uncoil. You can use a long pin and hold the coil together while you figure out what comes next. Let's see, I'm gonna put another, I'm gonna put this pink one next because I like it. Now what I can do is take the pin out carefully and anchor the beginning of that strip there. Now from this point forward I'm just going to add one strip at a time and really what I want to do is push that down until I get back to the beginning where I'm going to have to take that pin out. Now this is getting to be large enough that I can hold on to it without it uncoiling on me, but if I thought I needed it, and I might, I would pick that pin up again and use it to hold the strip in place. Now this Altoid tin is rectangular, so I know what I'm going to want to do is put in two rounded um, wool coils. And what I want to do too is there's a little lip on this tin I want to scoot this in here so that the exposed end of the strip is there. Oh yeah, that fits very nicely. And I have already in advance made another coil that I've held together with this pin. I'm going to take that pin out and I'm going to sneak this one in the same way. Now if I had made one or the other of these, you know, too big or too small, I could pull it back out and either add another strip or take off a strip. And there you go. Now this, this is um, woven wool that's been felted and for the most part it doesn't ravel. But every now and then you might come up with a thing that sticks up and wants to ravel. <clears throat> you can either cut that off with scissors or just take it off. Now, isn't that cute? What I like about this is that it is a very nice size for class or um, for traveling, for being on the road because you can close it up and the pins don't fall out. This tin is not quite, it's a little more than a half an inch. So the essential applique pins that are five-eighths of an inch, they're a little long to put in it straight, although that looks like it might work, and it might. Um, but if your pins are a little long, what you can do, let me pull in here, what you can do is put your pins in at a little bit of an angle. So I tend to like to put 
similar pins together in my pin cushion. So I might group a bunch of the 5 8 sequin pins here. And I don't travel with very many long pins because I don't use them very often. But if I needed long pins, I can sneak them in at an angle. And these um, 3 quarter inch clover pins with the white heads that I know some of you use, they work in here too. You just have to sneak them in at an angle. Um, one of the nice things about having your pins in a pin cushion rather than just loose in a box is that when you need them, they're easy to grab with your fingernail and pick up. So that's why I prefer working out of a pin cushion um, rather than with my pins just loose and jumbled. So that is a quick, cute, simple, no sew pin cushion in a tin. And I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration and that you have fun hunting for the right tins and filling them with your own beautiful strips of wool. Many happy stitches. Thanks for watching.